what is going on welcome to the channel all right so in this video we are driving down george washington memorial parkway for any of the dmv locals that are familiar this is the road that connects dc maryland and virginia together and it's a special road that runs alongside of the potomac river um and uh yeah so this is a special one for anyone that lives in the DMV area has likely driven down this road but in this video we're going to be testing it with a ton of construction going on right now and notice how they got the traffic split up and right now they've got these barriers going down the road and FSD is doing its thing right now and I'm still very skeptical so I'm going to test it out for you here and this is what your commute could look like potentially if you're using FSD in the DMV area. So I know there's typically a ton of traffic here um, and uh, you know during work hours if you're using this all you really have to do is pay attention to the road you know and uh, keep your hands free and as long as you can do that the car is capable of driving. Um, and of course wear your seatbelt. Seatbelt and no cell phones is the only rule. Oh no, so here we go. We've got an issue. The car indicated there for a second. I think it was just saying that it wasn't going to take that fork. But it does freak me out a little bit knowing that these barriers are right here and the car can just whoosh, go into the barrier. But thank God it's driving and uh, yeah. You know, you could use this to and from work every day. FSD doesn't get tired. It doesn't need coffee. It doesn't need sleep. But you do need to be attentive supervising it. Um, the, the car does have a selfie camera that's pointing at you and it's de detecting your eyes. Kind of like when you're using your cell phone and uh, if you're using it in the daylight, it kind of dims the brightness for your eyes or if you're using it in in nighttime the brightness goes up and how it does that is it uses the camera to detect whether or not first you're looking at it and second of all the the lit upness of the room um so it's like telemetry pretty much is what they're using there oh no i always get frayed with this you know and that was a anyways so the camera is watching you and as long as you're doing what you need to be doing which is safely paying attention oh my gosh i'm probably going to take over here very soon and this is a great reason why we need to go ahead and upgrade the hardware three cars uh this is the part where things get a little tricky and we are going a little fast for this situation so we're going to slow it down and uh, if anyone is familiar with where I am, we are approaching the DC line here, technically in Virginia, and uh, my destination is Arlington. So if you know, oof, we had to really do a slowdown for that. And just from really narrow areas here, FSD still able to figure this out. Kind of reminds me of when Elon Musk did the version 12 demo way back like a year ago, when we were all still on version 11. And look at the way FSD is just cutting over for these turns and these curves. And now it's slowing down a little too much that I actually had to accelerate through because I've got someone behind me and I don't want them to have to slow down. And there we go with the cruise control will not break. Um, it's unbelievable that they're doing all this construction over here also. There we go, I can finally let go, but it's still breaking. So, you know, this is just another great example on why we need to go ahead and upgrade hardware three cars because we know the capability of better driving is out there. So we just need to go ahead and uh, let hardware three do the trick and run at least an end to end on highway or version 13, something along those lines. Oh my gosh, here we go with another really bad slowdown, phantom braking whatever you want to call it and I am again having to accelerate through this part of the road and I do think we're getting very close to the end of this barrier madness that's in the middle of the road here and it kind of sucks that I have to use the pedal I had to use the pedal in this drive uh, but you know I'd 
just try to always be careful no matter what. Uh, this is kind of one of those situations where, you know, most people would just drive it because that, these barriers can freak people out. But notice on the visualization, of course we're in Santa mode, but also that uh, it picks it up. It thinks it's cones every other one. So we are now officially at the part where you can see DC on the other side and the Potomac River is just below us here. As you can see, uh -oh. there it goes with the phantom braking again and see when you see those lines there that's how you know it's braking. Um, and I've got quite a few cars behind me now piled up so I'm not trying to be the reason for this traffic. But then again, look on the other side of the road, there's, there's now traffic built up, so. Once you get into D.C., it's 24-7, so it doesn't really matter what time of the day. You just kind of have to be ready for it and expect it. Alright, officially off the accelerator now, and the car is doing its thing. We've almost made it. No, no. We've almost made it to the end here of um, GW Washington Memorial Parkway was one of my favorite roads to drive on. Now it's like I'm waiting for this construction to end because look, now we're on one side of the road and we've got both sides of traffic split off where the other side of the road is just pure construction. There used to be like these little spots where you can pull off into and look over uh, the, you know, to DC and Georgetown and the river, but they've got it all blocked off right now. So I'm not sure how long they're planning on doing this. Hopefully by summertime all this is done and open because that's the time when people really like to fill up this area. And if you just look out on the on the river, there's typically boats lined up and there's people. There's actually a really cool spot down there where you can actually rent one of the like a paddle boat or a canoe and actually get out on the Potomac. And uh, that's one of the best things to do in the summertime here in the DMV area. So really hope they clear up all of this madness construction going on because it just causes soul sucking traffic which nobody needs so yeah all right now you can finally see the capitol and the monument from afar i don't know if you're going to be able to see it on the camera but it is right behind all these trees here which of course is an awesome view we are just a little bit ahead of the transition of power here in Washington, D.C., uh, Biden on his way out, Trump on his way back in, so it's an interesting time, 2025 approaching with, uh, you know, the political landscape. Finally, we've come to the end on this madness of construction. Of course, this is like usually where it gets the most congested, but finally it's opened up now. And we are here in D.C. now, not officially, but as soon as you cross over that bridge right there, that is D.C. And just like a few hundred yards that way, it's Maryland. It's ridiculous. It's like a very much of a triangle in this little area right here. Potomac, Great Falls, McLean, Arlington, Washington, D.C. So yeah, we are not going into D.C. today, actually. We are going back into Arlington. This is, of course, the best way, so... We had some really good fall foliage. If you check out some of my Georgetown videos, uh, it's starting to die out now. Of course, we're getting into January, so we gotta look forward to some new seasons coming up. Shout out to the Commanders, 10 and 5 when I'm shooting this video. I'm making it to the playoffs for the first time since RG3 days. And uh, just, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm just happy that we made it this far. And to be walking around in January with 10 wins is like, wow, ending the year. That's, that's an incredible level. All right, so we have finally made it here half a mile now to my exit. I want to thank everyone for watching this video. More FSD on the way. Make sure you hit that like button if you did enjoy this and subscribe for more of course. Thanks again. Have a great rest of your day.